The Orioles take two of three out against Detroit. The Rays continue to prove it's not bad to beat the Windians. The Mud Hens are on a three game winning streak. Three game winning streak? Do my eyes deceive me? And beat the heat! Beat the heat! Beat the heat! Beat the heat! Oh! I love you guys and welcome in to another edition of All Andy Alford right here on Clay Fan 2 3. I am your host, Andy Alford, welcoming you into the Man Cave and welcoming you into this Monday, June 3rd edition of All Andy Alford. And we got a lot to get into. First of all, I hope you are all at a great, safe weekend. Uh, I got invited this weekend to this upcoming weekend to play in a golf outing. I'll spread that details a little bit later on in the week. But let's get into baseball first because we got a lot to talk about. How much are you are you sick and tired of Papa Grande already? Because I am. After blowing the save the other night against uh, again blowing the save against the Yankees in the playoffs was one thing. But then blowing the save against the Orioles of all teams, the Orioles is pathetic. As the Tigers were a loser Friday night, seven to five. Jose Valverde gets the loss. He goes down to zero oh and one with a three point five five ERA. O'Day gets the one. He goes to three and zero oh with a one point eight five ERA. Miguel Cabrera homer is sixteenth of the season. Uh, so, Anacel Garcia, his second of the season as well, too. Adam Jones, his 11th, and Kennedy Morales, his 7th, and Dickerson, his 4th. And for the 46,249 game time, 3 hours and 2 minutes, and I just... Uh, there was a chance that the Tigers were going to win that, and he they brought him in, and I'm like, oh, God. Oh, my God. But Saturday proved to be the heaven grace. Back to back to back jacks and then the grand slam in the fourth inning as the tigers are a winner 10 to 3 verlander gets the one and goes to 7 to 4 with the 3.70 era hamill gets the loss he got tossed after throwing those back to back to back home runs he threw at to uh two out of sopo in the head it clunked him in the head gone immediately gone now buck showwater came out with wait a minute he threw it outside he, the pitch got away from him and blah, 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 blah. No. No. When you give up back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back home runs to the Tigers, it's not the ne it's not necessarily that, you know, you're aiming at his head, but Cabby had a monster of a grand slam. His 17th of the season. Victor Martinez is third. Johnny Peralta is sixth. Alex Avila is fifth. Prince Fielder had his 10th of the season. Uh, J.J. Hardy had two home runs in the game, his 11th and 12th, and for the 38,945. And by the way, a lot of Tiger fans in Baltimore, so I tipped my cat to the Baltimore Orioles fans ship that was there. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles uh, hosting a lot of the Tiger fans, so my hat's tipped to them. Uh, in front of 38,945, game time, three hours and two minutes. Now, yesterday, of course, unfortunately, the Coke went flat. As Phil Coke blew a save. And the Tigers lost four to two to the Baltimore Orioles. Porcello gets the loss. He goes to two and three with a five point two one ERA. Mustakas gets the win. He goes to two and zero with a three point one eight ERA. Davis homered his twelfth of the season. Prince Fielder is eleventh, but that doesn't mean anything with Prince. I got to get into that in just a second. Game time: three hours and six minutes. Thirty nine thousand one hundred eighty two. Johnson gets his eighteenth save of the season. The Tigers are off tonight. They will start up a three game set with the Tampa Bay Rays starting tomorrow night. We will preview that series. Tomorrow on All Andy Alfred. Now, let me get into this. He's not even batting his weight. Prince Fielder, batting at 278. He's got to be at 3 plus. Understand? It's it's a pathetic. He's got 11 home runs, 34 RBIs, driven in. But he is in the negatives in his OPS, he is negatives in his, in his run production. From last year to this year at this time. It's just... How much more are we going to take of this? I mean, yeah, he's second in, in the AL batting. 
But honestly, I think if Leland would... I don't want to say this out loud, really. I really don't want to say this. I think Leland should bench him. Sit him on the bench. I mean, yes, he had, he had two home runs this weekend, but... That's two more than he had the whole series against Pittsburgh. Speaking of Tampa, with uh, the Tigers getting ready to host Tampa, Tampa was in Cleveland this weekend. Five hour plus rain delay on Friday night. Do you think they started the game? Yes, they did. Ball game was underway at 12.30 in the morning. Did not finish until about 2.30, 2.45 in the morning. 3 o'clock. Tampa Bay Rays were a winner 9-2 over the Cleveland Indians. Wright gets the win. He goes to 1-1 one one with a 3.12 ERA. Barnes gets the loss for Cleveland. He's 0-1 with a 7270 ERA. Ramos is second save of the first save of the season. Uh, Joyce homered for Tampa. So is Lowy. Is, she had two home runs in front of uh, 29,603. Not really that much when the game started. Game tied 2 hours and 59 minutes. 4 hours and 59 minute rain delay. And then Saturday afternoon... Game ended Saturday morning. A seven-hour turnover. Seven-hour turnover. Well, oh. actually, a nine-hour turnover. You figure it. Tampa Bay gets the loss five to nothing over the Cleveland Indians, and it is a bolo. Gets the win. He goes to four and three with a four point eight three ERA. Archer gets the loss. He goes to zero and one with eleven two five ERA. No home runs for Tampa Bay. Jason Giambi is fifth. And that's Drubal Cabrera, his fifth of the season in front of 22,748. Game time, two hours and 49 minutes. On the concluding game on Sunday, Tampa Bay just steamrolled the Cleveland Indians 11 3. Hellickson gets the win. He goes to 3 2 with a 5.59 ERA. Uh, Jack McAllister gets the loss. He goes to 4 and 5 with a 3 4 3 ERA. Unice Escobar, Escobar, his fifth of the season. Evan Longoria, his tenth of the season. No home runs for Cleveland in front of 18,106. Game time, three hours and 16 minutes. And, Zach McAllister had some great stuff, but he was not getting the pitches called towards his liking. But Hellickson was getting the pitches called to him. Tito Francona was furious at the umpire. So much so that he got tossed. And I, I respect Tito going out there respect and arguing balls and strikes. If you're going to call it one way and not call it another way, you have to call it fair. 50-50. I don't know. I don't care if Joe Madden paid the rumps, paid that umpire at home plate an extra fifty. Come on. But tonight it will be in the Bronx, the New York Yankees. Yankees win. Yankees win. Hosting the Cleveland Indians, it will be Justin Masterson on the hill. You'll be looking for a masterpiece of a win. He's eight and three with a three point zero seven ERA. He'll take on Andy Pettit, just coming off the DL with a four and three record, three point eight three ERA game time seven oh five tonight on STO or on ESPN. Your choice. Tomorrow night it will be a Scott Casmir on the hill for Cleveland. He's three and two with a five point one three ERA. He'll take on Phelps, who is three and three with a four point six five ERA, seven oh five start. And the concluding game on Wednesday will be after will be we'll do our show after this game concludes. It'll be Corey Kluber on the Hill. He's three and three with a four point three six ERA he'll take on the former ace of the Cleveland Indian staff, CC Sabathia. Five and four with a three point seven one ERA game time one oh five. That was on Sports Time Ohio or on MLB now. Other notable games happening this weekend this, on Sunday. It was the Marlins beating up on the New York Mets 11-6. Cincinnati was a loser to Pittsburgh 5-4 in 11 innings. Philadelphia 7. The Milwaukee Brewers 5. Atlanta 6. Washington 3. The Jeremy Bonderman made a start. Was the starting pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. He got rocked by the Minnesota Twins. 10 to nothing was the final. Uh, San Francisco 4, St. Louis 2, Arizona was a winner over the Cubbies 8-2, Texas 3, Kansas City 1, Houston was a winner 5-4 over the LA Angels, the White Sox get swept in Oakland by the Oakland A's, 2-0, uh, Colorado was a winner 7-2 over the Dodgers, San Diego 4, Toronto 7, and then the New York Yankees hosted the Boston Red Sox, it was a rain short and 6 inning game, the Red Sox win 3-0, and there was a clap of thunder. That went over the ballpark, and literally the players were scared shitless. They were like, <gasps> all huddled together. I thought I thought one of them at least crapped their pants, if you, <laughs> if you look at it. But this is coming out of some of the sources 
that Ned Yost and Eric Wedge, the former Indian manager, are on the hot seat. Ned Yost, because of all the acquisitions that the, the uh, Royals have picked up in the offseason, and they're not producing, he might be the first to go. Eric Wedge at the same rank at the same time, too. But looking at the American League Central standings going into tonight's play, it is the Detroit Tigers in first place. They are 30 and 25, 4 and 6 in the last. And the Cleveland Indians are in second place. They are 30 and 26, a half game out, 3 and 7 in their last 10. The Minnesota Twins are in third place. They are 20, not 25 and 29, 4 and a half out, 7 and 3 in their last 10 games. They're getting on a hot streak at the same time, too. The Chicago White Sox are in fourth place. They're 24 and 30, 5 and a half out, 3 and 7 in the last 10. In Kansas City, in the bottom of half. They're 23 and 31, 6 and a half out. 2-8 in their last 10 games. I can't believe the Mudhens are on a three-game winning streak. And he almost threw a no-hitter on, on Saturday night. The first since 1992. I'll get into that in just a second. Friday night, the Mudhens were winner 3-2 over the Louisville Bats. Reed gets the win. He goes to 1-1 one one with a 2.33 ERA. Diaz gets the loss. Goes to 1-3 with a 2.89 ERA. Uh, ben Gaz homered for the Mudhens his seventh of the season. And the former Mudhen, Mike Hessman, the king of swing, hit one out to dead center field. Clobbered the ball for his 14th home run of the season. Game time, 2 hours and 34 minutes. 42-minute rain delayed. 8,024 were in attendance at 5th third field to watch it. Now, Saturday, my mom and my sister were at the Mudhen game. They were watching it. Uh, they were astounded by this kid, Casey Crosby. He was outstanding. He went six and two-thirds innings, giving up only two hits, no earned runs, one walk, eight strikeouts. Wow. Mudhens won six to nothing. Crosby gets to win. He gets the win. He goes now to two and five with a four point four four ERA. Carrero gets the loss. He goes to two and eight with a seven fifty ERA. No home runs hit in the game. Now yesterday evening, you know all these Sunday games. I hate the Sunday evening games. I wish they go back to day games. The Mudhens were winner in extra innings four to three. Bruce Rondon gets the win. He goes to one and one with a four four ERA. Pino gets the loss. He goes to 1-3 with a 2.33 ERA. Nick Castellanos is his seventh of the season. Uh, Navati Soto, his fifth of the season in front of 6,445. Game time, three hours and even. And after the game Saturday night, Quentin Berry was released by the Detroit Tiger organization. He is designated for assignment. We wish him all the best of luck in his travels and his career. But tonight is the biggest, one of the biggest games and biggest pitching matchups I've seen in fifth third field history. This ranks up to Kenny Rogers. It ranks up to what it was with Jeremy Bonderman. And it ranks up to so many, so many other options. Juan Alvarez for the Toledo Mudhens. He's 5-3 with a 2.30 ERA. Great pitcher. Ace of the Mudhens staff will take on a former Detroit Tiger pitcher who most people will know. Most people will recognize. Great pitcher. Solid. Great cutter. Great fastball. Great everything. Got something taken away from him by Jim Joyce. That's right. It is Armando Gallarara. On the hill in the Cincinnati Red organization. Gallarraga is 3-3 three three with a 2.94 ERA. Game time tonight at 7.05. You watch the game on BCSN if you haven't. Or you can listen to it on your iHeartRadio app. Type in 1230 WCWA. Great pitching matchup tonight at 5th Third Field. Get your tickets. That's a recommendation. Right now, you're, it's 5 o'clock. Go get your tickets now. Call them up right now. 419-725-HENS. MudHens.com. Great tickets still available for tonight's ball game. Looking at the iOS standings. This is what it's going to go into. Indianapolis leads the division. They are 39-19, 6-4 in their last 10. Columbus is in second place. They are 29-28, and 9.5 out, 1-9 in, in their last 10. Now, here's, some, here's an interesting fact for you guys. Louisville is 27-30. They are, as I'm pulling up the rest of the stats right now, they are 11.5 out, 3-7 in their last 10 games. And then, of course... Have to get into this right away. 
you know what's coming. The Toledo Mud Hens are 20 and 38. 19 games out of first place, 5 and 5 in their last 10 games. Well, you're 18 wins away from 500, Phil. What does that leave you? What does that leave you, folks? Well, let me tell you something. I just found this stat out from my friend Chris Baronga. I believe that's how it's pronounced. And here's a stat that's just going to blow your mind. As I'm pulling it up right now. I do apologize for this. But as I'm pulling it up, it just astounds me that this is actually happening. Should have had this prepared beforehand, I know. But this was given to me by my friend Chris. And here it is. Here it is up right here. All right. Phil Nevin's record as a manager with the Toledo Mud Hens as of May. He has 151 wins and 195 losses. Why does this man have a job? He's 20 and 38. Why does this man have a job? He should be flipping burgers and making a sandwich like my exes. Hashtag Fire Phil Nevin. Fire Phil Nevin. Follow the show at all Andy Alford. It's Monday, so it's the time for the traditional. It's time for the traditional as I'm trying to collect my breath. Ah, excuse me. My bitching water. Top five, bottom five. Jordan Letterton's batting a 342 average. 10 home runs, 31 RBIs, 442 on base percentage, but he's struck out 42 times. Not supposed to happen. Brandon Douglas is a 307 average, 2 home runs, 8 RBI, 349 on base percentage, 12 strikeouts. That's not bad. I, I would rank him number one. Nick Castellanos is batting a 274, 7 home runs, 28 RBIs, 353 on base percentage, but he struck out 46 times. Unbelievable. Brad Holiday is batting a 262, 2 home runs, 11 RBIs, 318 on base percentage, 32 strikeouts. Danny Dorn is in the bottom five. Top five of the top five. Uh, 244 on base percentage, 11 home runs, 34 ribbies, 319 on base percentage, but, but he has 48 strikeouts, the bottom five. John Lindsay is batting a 200 average, four home runs, seven RBIs, 273 on base percentage, but he struck out 37 times. Corey Jones just called up from the minors, seven games played. 190 on base percentage, one RBI, 261 on base percentage, five strikeouts. Kevin Russo, 167, no home runs, 14 RBIs, 217 on base percentage, but he has struck out 44 times. Eduardo Nunez, 153 on base percentage, three RBIs, 211 on base percentage, 33 strikeouts. Oh! But the worst, Danny Worth, 136, no home runs, no RBIs, 224 on base percentage, and 14 strikeouts. This club, this club's going to kill me. I'm so shocked at that stat. Yes, that stat, 151 and 95. 151 and 95. That is the stat. Unbelievable. Beat the heat! Beat the heat! Beat the heat! Indiana trying to pull up the upset tonight in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Tonight at 8.30 on TNT, it'll be the Indiana Pacers taking on the Miami Heat in LeBron James and D-Wade and Chris Bosh. Please. I hope they lose. They lost Saturday. They lost Saturday 91-77. And LeBron, I loved that when he got fouled and he ran down the court. Teed! I loved it. I loved it for, for everything. I hope he gets teed tonight, too. 8.30 tonight 
on TNT. Hey, Jason Kidd, congratulations on a great career. Congratulations. Uh, he announced his retirement today, so uh, one of my one of my best favorite players in the NBA. But tonight also, Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Boston Bruins and the Pittsburgh Penguins. Game time at 8 o'clock tonight on NBC Sports Network or on CBC. Uh, Saturday, uh, Boston was a winner of 3 to nothing over the Pittsburgh Penguins. They lead the series one game to nothing. In the Western Conference, Chicago leads the series two games to nine after an impressive win last night, four to two over the LA Kings, and beating the Kings on Saturday, two to one. So we'll see what happens with that. Hey, recommendations? Like I said, go get those Mud Hen tickets. It's five fifteen right now. Go get your Mud Hen tickets now. Uh, gates open in about forty-five minutes. I'll be headed down to the ballpark here after I tape this episode of All Andy Alfred. Get your tickets. For the upcoming homestand as well, too, as they take on the uh, Columbus Clippers on Thursday and Friday. 419-725-HENS. Plenty of tickets are available for this weekend's series, this Thursday-Friday series, after the home-and-home. And And also, MudHens.com or 406 Washington Street as well. Also, got to go out and pick up this album. Michael Buble's To Be Loved. Uh, You Make Me Feel So Young. Who's Loving You? Uh, You got the self-titled album To Be Loved and the popular hit It's a Beautiful Day. Go out, pick up a million copies, get a copy for your mom, get a copy for your dad. This is a great CD for your dad as well, too. Go pick that up as well, too. And, of course, Dr. Zuhari and Fisher's office in on River Road in Rossford, Ohio. Dr. Z has been there forever, and he is he does a great work. Whether you need a crown, whether you need Invisalign, whether you need teeth whitening, if you need routine checkup, if you need a cavity fill, call him up. 419 666 Three three two seven. That's four one nine six 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 three three two seven. Say J- hi to Jamie for me as well too, or zfdentist.com. They fix the smile. They can fix yours at the same time. On tomorrow's program, we'll preview the Tigers series against the Tampa Bay Rays. Break down last tonight's game against the Indians, against the uh, the Indians and the Yankees, as well as the big pitching matchup tonight at Fifth Third Field. I'm Andy Alford, about ready to head down to the ballpark. I hope you have a terrific rest of the night. And remember, as always, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Beat the heat! Beat the heat! Go, Mud Hands! Let's sweep the bats! And to the teams behind me, and to you at home, victory is sweetest when you have tasted defeat. Have a nice night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of All Andy Alfred. Love you guys. I will see you on tomorrow.